Hi everyone, this is Matt from drawingtutorialsonline.com and this is podcast number 12. Basically what I'm doing here for members, where are we and what is this? This basically was an anatomy lesson for members of drawingtutorialsonline.com. It was anatomy lesson number 13 and this anatomy lesson focused all on the upper back muscle called the trapezius muscle. So we did a couple videos. Um, I talked about how the muscle works and all that um, and we found where this muscle was inside this uh, models back okay and and we kind of drew it out and um fine okay so once you draw it out and and once you're able to find it inside of the body which i think is a great thing to practice doing um, now let's take that information that we've gained and let's put it into or utilize it in a memory drawing so i'm going to take a piece of paper now and i'm going to cover that drawing that i did i'm going to leave the model out just so the camera actually has something to focus on and we don't go out of focus so let, let's get started now and basically what i want to try to draw as best as i possibly can in this short podcast is a model standing up and kind of pushing their hand their hands are down at their waist both hands and about a foot out from their hips and they're pulling their arms back okay pulling their hands back kind of behind their butt let's try to draw that with the knowledge that we've gained um, from doing an anatomy tutorial and so again this totally applies to um, let me make sure I'm in the screen. This totally applies to anyone who goes to the bookstore, like let's say a Barnes and Nobles or um, a Borders Books, or goes to Amazon, buys an anatomy book, and you look at it and you feel good. You know, you've bought the book, and 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 then you're like, okay, fine. Uh, I bought the book, and you look at it for a couple days, and then it winds up on your shelf. But let's utilize the information that you've gained, and the way that you're going to utilize that information is that you're just going to practice doing these drawings out of your imagination. All right, so fine. So now we have the top of the trapezius muscle where it attaches to the base of, of your skull. And we've got that in now. So what I wanna do is I, I wanna show um, this person pulling their arms back. And so the center of this trapezius muscle, let's lift this, the center of this trapezius muscle totally bunches up. Because if you try to like stick out your chest and you pull your arms back, um, you feel the middle of your back, your upper back between your scapula kind of bunch up. And that's what I'm trying to show right here. And um, I'm just going to kind of wing this. This is uh, called your um, vertebrae, but this is specifically your se seventh cervical vertebrae. Um, it's your seventh vertebrae down from the base of, of your neck. So we have to get that in. That's a major landmark. We've got the top of our shoulder, top of our trapezius muscle, we've got that in. Now let me lean back so we, we could, I'm not going to zoom in just yet because I, I want you to see his back even though we're drawing something completely different. Now what we have to do is we have to get in, I, we have to get in our scapula and our scapula is going to be a tri, let's just do it as a triangular shape right now. Now I'm gonna slow down my pencil because I'm moving my pencil way too fast and I'm getting too many lines in the drawing. So let's slow down. Okay, awesome. Now we've got our scapulas in the drawing and they're mighty big. So what we have to do is we have to make them smaller. Okay, your scapulas are, are like a couple inches from your spine, from your vertebrae. So let's make them a little bit smaller. So they're fine. It's good enough right now. We, we can leave that. So basically this trapezius muscle, there's this thing on your scapula and it's called your spine of your scapula. It's right about here. It's right about here. Our trapezius muscle is going to attach to that at the top of it. Okay, we, if we're pulling our shoulders back, Let's fix this huge mistake that I just made. These need to come closer to your spine, big time. So let's fix that at the risk of me making this drawing really look like a mess. So this is where you start using your brain a little bit and you stop just looking at anatomy books. You want to utilize the information that, that you've learned from the anatomy book, whatever anatomy book that you buy from an Amazon. Um, I don't know this woman, but I love her books. Her last name is Simblet, I believe, S-I-M-B-L-E-T. 
I love her books, and, and if you're an artist and you want to draw figuratively, well, you got to get her book. Her, her book is like amazing. Any book that she has, just type in her name in Google and you'll find her. Again, I, I don't know her personally and I have no affiliation with her. I'm just plugging another artist and I think her work is great and she's helped me over the years looking at her books. Um, so let's keep going with this drawing now. So basically now this trapezius muscle comes down to your 12th thoracic vertebrae right about over here. So now we, we got to get some arms in here and we got to utilize um, this deltoid. Okay, let's bow this. Deltoid attaches um, to your scapula as well. Let's get in a very simple cylinder. Cylinder for that arm. Cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lower I'm going to lower the, the neck, this portion of the trapezius, which is called the cervical portion because it's totally in the cervical um, vertebrae area of the skull area um, or of the top of your spine. So again, from here to here, cervical vertebrae. From here, number seven cervical vertebrae, to here, thoracic vertebrae. So we're utilizing the knowledge of the trapezius muscle and we're trying to place it in this memory drawing. So now I'm gonna just get in this skull and I, I want this person to be looking downward. So we're gonna just kinda get in the skull this way along with the jaw. But let's push the arms a little bit more. Um, let's just do a, a quick opposite C, quick opposite C, get this arm coming back and we can bring it to a hand which is off camera. So give me a moment, let me zoom out. Okay, and let's get in now a part of the back so you guys can really see what I'm doing. This technically would be part of the lat. And I'm gonna clean this up for you. If you hang out with me, we're seven minutes into this podcast. If you just hang out with me a little bit more, I promise you I will clean this up so you can actually see what I'm doing. So pretty much sacrum. If you ever fell down on your bike as a little kid uh, or fell down on your skateboard when you were riding as a little kid and you land on your butt, well, you really hurt your sacrum bone down at the bottom over here. So pretty much our spine just shoots all the way down, straight down to our sacrum base of our skull. So now what I want to do is I really want to focus back on these deltoids. Now we haven't gotten to the deltoids yet. I think I'm going to do them next because they are totally like my favorite muscle. They're so descriptive when you're doing a figure drawing. Um, little knowledge of the deltoid goes such a long way. So we're going to wrap, get a little bit more round because we are going to wrap. Slow your pencil down. Break your pencil on camera. Beautiful. Let's get a new pencil. I don't have another pencil near me so I better not break this one or else I'm in trouble. Um, so now we get in a little bit of deltoid, a little bit of elbow. And now we kind of kick down with our forearm. Okay, and so we can go back. Let's go back now and let's just focus a little bit more. Let's get this arm in so we make a little bit more sense. Elbow, I want my elbows to be level. Okay, cool. So now um, this is where our trapezius was kind of pulling towards the spine. This is my spine. We have our vertical muscle fibers of our trapezius muscle and this is the spine of our scapula going to our acromion. Our acromion over here. Top of the scapula. Okay, let's just get this scapula in a little bit more. I, I got to keep my pencil down. See how I'm getting all this chicken scratch? Keep your pencil down on the page for as long as you possibly can. Okay, let's get horizontal now with our muscle fibers. And let's go vertical with our muscle fibers. So now we're starting to think about how the muscle is working, which is what you don't necessarily do when you look through an anatomy book as an artist. I'm telling you, you just have to do this in the confinement of your own studio. No one's watching you. 
We don't care how bad or good the drawing comes out. This is just for you to practice. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm kind of doing this in front of all of you. So if I screw up, I screw up and the drawing looks like crap on, on the uh, podcast. Or if you're watching this on, on YouTube, you can go to iTunes, type in drawing tutorial under podcast and, and you can download this via iTunes. Uh, it's the free podcast. I also have a paid podcast for members of um, who, who are members of drawingtutorialsonline.com and that's a weekly step-by-step -step podcast. So um, I just feel like pushing this a little bit for you because it's been a long time since I've done um, a podcast for iTunes and so I just want to kind of push this a little bit more so we have a beautiful lap muscle and um, I'm actually going to go all muscle with this. Let's just push this and let's stick here with the upper portion of this back. Got to try not to break my pencil. And let's just tweak it in, tweak it in, tweak it in. And let's just crunch your back. Again, feel the sensation of you, you sticking out your chest. Ladies, if you're in an office space, you do not want to do this, okay? But, you know, if you're at home, stick your chest out as far as you possibly can go. Pull your arms back and feel this tighten. And, um, you know, you feel this like little ball thing happening right here. And let's go back now. Uh, your trapezius muscle just totally attaches to a third of the spine of your scapula. Um, other two thirds, I believe, is devoted for your deltoid. So let's do our muscle fibers coming downward. And uh, so right over here, we've got some serious getting really messy with this drawing. But you want to know something? I don't care. It's just as long as you see how I'm thinking. And you see how I'm just kind of going for it and I'm not playing it too safe. Okay. If you play it too safe, you're, you're never going to get good. You just got to be willing to do some really ugly drawings at home in your studio that no one's going to see but you. And, uh, you know, then you can develop a really good thick skin and you can do some ugly drawings in, in public. Okay. Go to the museum and draw. And don't care if you've done like an ugly drawing because it's those ugly drawings that get you to a place where you do those beautiful drawings. And, um, you know, you just have to get in some mileage. And unfortunately, when you do this, when you, when you do the mileage thing with your drawings, you're just going to have some crashes and, and burns. Um, so I actually just feel like pushing this a little bit more. So triceps, straight um, forearm, that should be on camera. So total, I'm going to give this guy some massive forearms, round, do that round thing, round over here. This again is more muscle fiber that we have not gotten to yet on the site. It's a lat, so we're going to be really round like this. So again, I'm just kind of messing around, drawing this out of my imagination. It's nothing pretty. It's nothing to write home to mom about. But what is this podcast all about? Again, this podcast is to get you to, I know there's a lot of artists out there who love to buy books. I'm one of them. But, you know, don't buy the book and just put it on your shelf and leave it. Look at it and then try to do these drawings out of your imagination. Um, okay, so I, I think that's going to be really, really crucial. So now let me just do one more quick one for you. I really pressed down hard on that drawing. I'm glad I didn't mess that one up. So now you can just come on in and just start to uh, do your proverbial peanut shape. Say we're going to draw one more model here out of our imagination. Okay, and so we've got this model. Keep it a guy for now because I've been drawing too many women. Two things I've been criticized uh, about on YouTube is not doing a drawing from scratch. People think that I start all my drawings halfway started. I definitely don't. Don't take it out of context. I, I totally do all of the drawings, 100% of the drawings on my website, DTO, drawingtutorialsonline.com, from a blank white sheet of paper like what I'm doing right here. Uh, it's just sometimes I, I show you guys what I've been working on, so it's kind of like halfway done. 
and that's what the tip would be. So I'm just going to do a little rib cage. Let's raise this head. Let's raise this deltoid. Um, let's get in our spine back view. So now with this little little figure here that I'm doing, um, let's just get this leg in a little bit more. I'm being really messy so you guys can see this. And um, so now let's deltoid. Let's find the trapezius. Trapezius muscle is going to be right here. Our scapula, this arm is coming up, so our scapula raises forward. Our trapezius comes down, attaches to the spine, attaches to the 12th thoracic vertebrae, which is right kind of at the bottom of your rib cage. Your rib cage is right here. And then we're going to roll up. I don't know how I want this arm. Maybe this arm is going to come back down. So that means our trapezius is going to be right about here. And then we're going to cruise back up. So that is an awesome exercise to do to find the trapezius muscle or any muscle that you're learning for that uh, fact. Let me just get the back plane of that skull. Let's get this. Let me finish this for you. Okay, I drew this guy's butt to female. So let's just kind of straighten things a little bit. So that's my little memory drawing right there of um, utilizing um, the trapezius muscle at the, from the base of the neck. Again, more knowledge. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please visit drawingtutorialsonline.com. Check out the site. Um, visit my blog or um, you know, just come by and say hello on the blog. That would be cool. Come and say hello on um, YouTube as well. Uh, thanks for watching.